Jessica Ladley. I'm one of the owners and manager of Riverside Greenhouses in East Coast, Ontario. But I was raised here, so my parents started the business, so I grew up here even as a little kid, uh, working in here. So I can say, pretty well say I've always been in here. After high school, I went to the University of Guelph. I studied horticulture there. And uh, as soon as I, right after I graduated, I came back here and started working full time. It was my uh, grandfather's business. So that was my mom's dad, and he started up the, uh, the greenhouse business in Bradford, Ontario. And they grew mostly for the Holland Mark, so they started doing that. And then when he passed away, my mom took over with my father. And uh, we were there in Bradford until about 1990. And then we started switching more to annual buyers. So we were a wholesale grower and supplied all the Sheridan nurseries in Toronto. Uh, we were getting tired of Bradford. We wanted to move up north here. We used to camp up here all the time. We still kept up with the wholesale. And then it wasn't until I got into the business that we decided to turn uh, turn it into a retail outlet as well. We just started slowly. We just basically opened our doors and we were still wholesale, but we just let people come in and buy and it just boomed from there. But pretty well now the whole range is almost all retail now. So it's been very successful. It was a good move. <laughs> so I would describe us as um, a full service garden center um, with a focus, a strong focus on annuals and container gardening. Um, but we do carry a full range of shrubs, perennials, uh, roses, tropical plants. I'd like to say that we're growers, so we don't just buy in and sell. Everything is homegrown here. Everything is started from seed or cutting. The only thing we buy in are the shrubs and the roses. Hey, people to pay attention to that. That you know they're buying straight from the grower. So hanging baskets, patio planters, and then um, tropical plants. Anything people can use um, to decorate their patio or gardens for the summer. We do a lot of big patio planters, big containers. I think that's what people drive out here for. We'd like to develop more into our vegetable program. I think that's one thing we're really going to expand on. Um, I'd like to see if later on we can provide to a lot of the market gardens because we can grow year round here. You know, we don't want to get too big. We kind of want to keep that family um, run business where we know customers' names, where they know our names when we come in. The idea of being from a small town, a small business, and I think the customers appreciate that too. Because now a customer can call and say, you know, can I bring my container in and I'll remember their name. And they're like, oh my gosh, how do you remember our name? And, but they love that, they appreciate that. And I think that's really important. We knew when we bought the property that we were in a flood zone. We have had to alter the property, like build dikes around the property um, to keep us from being underwater. Uh, so that is that is one of the biggest challenges of the property. We love being on the river and the river, we need the river for water. I mean, we have to be near a water source, so the sacrifice you pay for it, because it only happens for a few weeks of the year, and then the rest of the year, it's, it's the most beautiful spot in the world. So you just have to suffer a little bit for a few weeks and handle Mother Nature, what she throws at you. It's got to be just the flowers themselves I, and, and, and designing. I think that's my biggest passion. Um, anywhere from designing containers to working with different plant material and just seeing how they all come together. Um, I love doing consults where I come out and design for people, like do their perennial gardens and, um, and new ideas. And we always like our customers' feedback on what they're looking for. Just creating beautiful 